Knicks and Nets in the Battle of New York, Act 3. Knicks looking to get a W in this thing and try not to get swept against a bit of a shorthanded Nets team who lost James Harden in the first quarter. And the Knicks would get it going. Julius was in his triple-double bag. Yo Bull, Reggie Bullock was backing up his words that we don't need a big three, we got a big 15. And Bullock was letting it fly out there. Knicks were playing fast, playing loose. And in the third quarter, they would take a 13-point lead. And that 13-point lead would evaporate in the quickness to the point where the Knicks would find themselves down one going into the fourth quarter. Julius would get his look, but it was all for naught as the Knicks would go down once again in the Battle of New York. 114 to 112 gets swept by the New Jersey Nets. <laughs> Jeff Green. Like, I, Jeff Green. I, I don't understand how the we could be to killer. give this man the fountain of you. Yeah. Because when he plays against us, he feels like he is back in uh, Oklahoma City. I don't understand. I don't Could understand. not stop him worth a damn in this game, man. No. The hustle plays killed us once again. You know, even though this thing would come down to the wire, man, the third quarter was just, it, it was just unconscionable. Yeah. How do you lose that lead? And and consequently, all the momentum. They Kyrie Irving left that game with three minutes to go in the third. The Knicks were up by seven. And they still found a way to be down by one to go into that fourth quarter. The, the momentum was sapped. The Nets came in and took over the game. Seven turnovers in that third quarter. RJ finished with five. Julius finished with five. As good as Julius was tonight, he was in his triple-double bag. He was excellent in transition in the first half. Yeah. Finished with 12 dimes, 15 boards, and, and, and 19 points. The, the, the typical isolation, one-on-one, -on -one, exactly. no passing, trying to play hero ball is what lost this game. And that's the thing. It's like every time that he gets gassed, it's like he's reverting back to the Julius of old. Yeah. And it's it, he's just trying to do everything. And it, like I, I applaud to him, but at the same time, it's like the one-on-one -on -one ball just does not work. It does not work. We, we saw that in the first half. Yeah. We saw that in Detroit. When we play as a team, we move the ball. It, that is when we play the best version of the Knicks. But, like, you know, Julius Randle, he had that great start in the first half, triple-double before even halftime, you know? It was yeah. looking like one of those games where you're just getting everybody involved. But then it's like, you know, once the, the, the minutes run up, once the, his tank hits E, it's yeah. like he's just using forcing. the fumes and he's forcing, forcing the issue. And, We've yep. got to make those adjustments, man. We've got to make those proper adjustments. And one of them is, is, is Tibbs managing those, those minutes in the rotation. We can't have our starters out there battling against the Nets bench all the way down into the fourth quarter when the third quarter is over. Yeah, especially when our bench was playing so well in that first half. Yeah. Like, let our bench go out there and play against their bench. Yeah. Our bench will probably do better because the majority of their, their starting unit is some of their bench because they got injuries. Like, we, we just got to take advantage of those matchups. And then, like we were just saying, like, the one-on-one -on -one ball is playing into their game. The, the late game defense in which we start doubling Kyrie to take the ball out of his hands. I was wondering when, right. we, when we were going to start doing that, especially once Harden goes out the game, because that's yeah. one less threat on the court that you have to contend with. And it started working. They, they forced a bad shot by, uh, uh, they, they call him TLC. I can't pronounce his name. They call him TLC. They forced a, a three-pointer by him to take the ball out of Kyrie's hands. The double is working. Then he allows Peyton to wave it off. Bro. I got this, coach. <laughs> I got it. You you leave me to Kyrie one on one. I got oh, the forget boy. the double. Forget the double that was working. Oh. I got this. And he catches a three in his eye. <laughs> Nevertheless, we would still be in this thing. Julius comes yeah. back, hits two free throws. The double works again, forcing Kyrie to to, to throw the ball out of bounds. And then we get Alec Burks with a clutch, clutch three-pointer. Been singing this man's praises all year long. Got to find a way to have this man closing games. And they just could not. We miss Mitch here at, at, in the yeah, end. Yeah, 100%, man. You know, RJ tried to bring us back. He tried to make up for a bad third. Came back strong yeah, in the fourth. He, he did. Mm -hmm. Had a couple of nice buckets, a couple of prayers, but they went in. You know, Taj was out there hustling. 
6.6 boards, three steals for Taj. He was all over the place, on, on the floor, getting loose balls, everything. About five minutes too many, in my opinion, because he was he was starting to get uh, beat in some guessed. of those plays by their guards. But, yeah. yeah, Taj played really well for us tonight. He left it out there on the line. He was gassed over right. there. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I definitely right. agree. D. Rose looked good in the first half. But he got gassed, too. He was gassed. <laughs> He, he got he gassed. gassed. That's the only reason why Alfred Payne came back in the game because yeah, yeah. he couldn't close out because he was gassed. And that's the thing. Once he gets his 25, it's like, that's it. He yeah, got his 25 weird. minutes tonight. That was it, bro. You know the coach is not going to do it, but do you look at Burks? You know, if I'm going to go with the, a last second jumper, a pull up or off the dribble, I got to go with Burks, man. Yes. I got to go mean, with Burks. In place of the Julius shot? Yeah. Yes. Yes. 100%. 100%. If, if that's the shot we're going with, I'd rather go with Burks. Go with the same guy. Yeah, that's what I was saying, too. Because it was a... The thing was, it was a good shot. It just wasn't a Julius shot. Right. That was the problem. Right. right? I'm not... No, yeah, I, I 100% agree with that. That that shot should have been drawn up for Alec Burks, especially yeah. after the shot he just hit. I just will never understand why the adjustments aren't being made to the adjustments. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, why are we not adjusting these rotations better knowing what the end result is every single game? We're, we're, we're shooting ourselves in the foot. Yeah. We're shooting ourselves in the foot because these players look... Yeah, if we can see this on the TV, I know damn well that the coaching staff can see it, too. So I just, I, that's the part I just don't understand because we do it every single night. Yeah. I, I thought after this Pistons game, I understand it's the Pistons, I understand we won by 44 and blah, 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 blah. But after seeing that it is okay to trust your bench, even when we have a lead that they can do what they need to do, the farthest end of the bench players, I, I thought that that would have carried on into this game, knowing that you can trust the second unit. And then on top of that, in the fir this first half, the bench played well. They were bench the ones that well. kept us in this game. Absolutely. So it's like. I just don't understand. I, I don't understand why we just don't put any trust in or any faith into that second unit. We keep burning these guys out and expecting them to do some magic in this in the end of the game, every single game. I tough, man. It. Tough, 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 man. Now, you know, I don't see why we can't open up the rotation if you're not, you know, going to bench Peyton. Why not put Frank in there a little bit more to tie around Kyrie? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I don't understand why you wait to the fourth quarter to start double, team, double teaming him you know, knowing that he almost has 40 points. You yeah. know what I'm saying? As soon as James Harden goes out, you know, I would have doubled him the whole game and make everybody that's else what I was, That's what I was you know, thinking like they would have done. Alizé, yeah, like, you got Alizé, you know, scoring. Like, he, he's garbage. I, and we made him look like he was an all-star. So, we yeah. got to do better on some of these role players. You know, you're not going to win too many games giving up 58 points in the paint. Yeah. And what killed us is the fact that we gave up 11 offensive rebounds, and I think we gave up like four in the mm. fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. We got to yes. do better than that, you know. And yes. and now I'm getting ready to get to, you know, the bench. You know, why are you starting them off at the fourth quarter? Have them in the third quarter to save the, all, the team, mm -hmm. you know, because it, it doesn't make sense that, you know, the last three games we've had double-digit leads that we lost. The ones that we lost, we had, you know, seven-point lead, 10-point lead, 13-point lead. But the problem is, is you're playing the starters the whole third quarter when they're not even making shots or competing on a defensive end. Yeah. So you're not sparing them any time. You feel me? So if you could play the bench in the in the third quarter, maybe you would have a different result when it comes to the fourth quarter. You know what I'm saying? And you know, at the end of the day, you know, um, granted we turned the ball over, we, you know, we didn't make some shots, but you know, I don't know what's worse. You know, Noel shooting two free throws to win the game or Alfred Payton shooting a damn three. It just don't make no <laughs> sense, man. But I'm going to live with Noel's free throw shooting. You know what well. I'm saying? In the end, you know, like I said, they got Kyrie Irving. We don't, yeah. you know. And you can't let him beat you like that, you know. And, yeah. and you know, I'm not doing no more vi victory. This is still New York. Nah. This is still our city. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. Brooklyn mm -hmm. Nets fans, y'all talking all this smack. And no y'all barely victories, beat bro. the Knicks when we don't even have a superstar. So for real, for real, when we get some stars on our team, besides, you know, RJ and, uh, you know, Julius, y'all don't want no smoke. Y'all not even real fans. Man, I feel this, man. Gertrude Payton is not giving us nothing in the point guard spot. He's like, he has a selfish game. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. gives us little buckets, but he's not getting the team involved. He's not playing, like, hard defense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we got to... We got to get him out of there, and it's taken quickly. We need to bother him quickly pants with the second unit. You know what I'm saying? We can stick Frank out there. He played big. But uh, and Randall needs to go to the hole more. You know, 
for the game, for yeah. the game when it's shot. He needs yeah. to go to the hole because he, he, he's going to get fouled. He's too big. He's bully, bully ball. Right. Do the bully ball in the clutch. You know what I'm saying? That's all we got to do. Um, on the IQ point, you know, I, th- I think IQ's in a little bit of a rut right now. I don't, sure. I would not have him out there at the one, especially in late game situations. I just think teams have adjusted to him very well. Uh, they're not giving him any space to shoot it and cutting him off. They know he's trying to get into the nail and drive into the middle of the lane to get the floater off. They're not giving him that either. So I think IQ's yeah. have, he's been struggling past couple of games. You know, he's, but, he's been struggling. But the past on of that same note, I did like that Tibbs went with him at the end of the game over yeah. Alfred Payton. Yes. So just as a decoy for right. what ended up being the Alec Burke shot. Right. But everything you said, I completely agree with. But on top of that, still knowing that you got to respect his jumper, it, 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 they can't double team because, you know, we're not a team that really has that closer. So they can't double team our only scores in Burks or, or uh, Randall because you yeah. got to respect uh, Emmanuel quickly. So I, I love that out of Tibbs, but you're completely right. Yeah. Uh, Mayo quickly is going through a little bit of a slump right now. But you yeah. know what? He is a rookie, so he's probably he's in a rut. Wall. It's all he, he's in a little right. bit of a rut. <laughs>